cycle as repossessions and foreclosures rise. This is what economists call the negative feedback loop or the adverse feedback loop, which is that one problem exacerbates another, which exacerbates another, and it gets difficult to get out of this just uh, vicious cycle. So absolutely, we know about the problems in the housing market. Those are only going to get you know foreclosures that are now about double their normal rates. Uh, that's only going to get worse as more people uh, lose their jobs and just simply can't can't pay their mortgage. And you know that'll start to become not just not just people who took out subprime loans they maybe shouldn't have had in the first place or who never could have afforded a house, but people who would otherwise be able to pay their mortgage, uh, except they lost their job and their economy's down and their uh, income is down. So um, for all these reasons, this is why um, I think in three months you're not going to be so pr surprised that the economy is in the toilet because it's going to be a lot more tangible to many, many people. Newman says America has been able to spend its way out of recent economic downturns, but it may not happen this time. He says consumer spending is down with fewer people willing to use their credit card. This is KNX 1070 News Radio. It is Saturday, December 6th. I'm Kim Merritt. Some of the stories we're following for you at 859. A political drama unfolding in the LA Unified School District's executive suite. Voters may decide whether Los Angeles police officers may confront known gang members about their immigration status. California's lawmakers schedule a rare joint session to assess the severity of the state's budget crisis. Counseling fair for homeowners facing foreclosure, part of a growing trend toward the public outreach. CBS News is next with more reporters on the ground, more aircraft overhead, and more resources around the world. This is KNX 1070 AM and HD, KTWV HD2, Los Angeles, Orange County, and all of Southern California.